Hello there, YouTube! My name is John Renteria, and today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a cartoon without using any Adobe products, because fuck Adobe! Nah, I'm just, just joking. Stop! I know what you're thinking. Why in God's earth would I ever need to make a cartoon without Adobe Premiere? Well, if you're like me, and you're broke as shit, $50 isn't much to spend on making a cartoon. With my techniques, you can make cartoons using nothing but GIMP and Movie Studio 13. A carbon copy of Sony Vegas that's essentially Sony Vegas but bare bones. Also put out by Sony. All in all, the software only cost me about $50, which is perfect for making cartoons on a budget for the aspiring animator. She takes a minute to load up, don't be screwed. And we'll buy them. To start a new project, click File. Open, and then set your parameters. I just went with what they gave me. Now your first instinct is to draw. <laughs> Don't. Click Windows, click Dockable Dialog, and open up yourself a new Layers tab. At this point, you should already have a toolbox open, but if you don't, just click Windows and hit Open New Toolbox. Hold on, I know you're really excited to draw now, but first, Left click on your layers tab and open up a new layer. Now that all of that's done, set your parameters to how you like them. Personally, I like to go with the size number 6 in my brush. The key to drawing detailed images on computers is that you have to draw in layers. Think of each layer like a translucent piece of paper, wherein you can manipulate the images on each piece of paper dictated by how you move each piece of paper around. This will allow you to customize your image to perfection and allow you to move the individual parts where you want them to be when you want them to be. Just like Frosty wouldn't be Frosty without his bullshit magic hat, Captain AK wouldn't be Captain AK without his cape. But we're not just drawing a picture, we're making a cartoon. So Captain AK doesn't just need one cape, he needs multiple capes. But remember, each cape has to be on a different layer than the last. And remember, once you're finished with a layer, if you absolutely need to, you can click the eyeball in the layers tab to make it disappear for the moment. If you ever need to go back to a previous layer you've worked on, just double click it in the layers tab. In this case, we're going to make the background green, a necessary step in creating my animations. <laughs> 
Shadow Beats has an incredibly large penis. Have you been paying attention so far? No? Good, because here's where you put it all together. For simplicity's sake, go ahead and set your cape back to its original position. Right click the layers tab and create a new layer from visible. Make sure the new from visible layer is at the very top of the list before making it disappear. Now go ahead and turn your first cape off, but turn your second cape on. Play around with the individual layers of Captain AK and move them ever so slightly so that way it appears as though he's still a doll but everything is in a slightly different place than it was before. Repeat this until you've reached the end of every cape you've drawn and then go back the other way until you've reached the second cape you've drawn. Then you're done. Oh yeah, when you export it, remember to export it as a GIF. I skipped over that last little bit of explanation because it was pretty self-explanatory from the video. Once you've booted up Sony Movie Studio 13, it's really just a matter of knowing the basics of editing. Take your carousel cloud background and enlarge it until it encompasses the entirety of the screen. If you drew your image in the same direction I drew mine, make sure your carousel image is to the farthest left it could possibly be. Now set it so that at the end, it'll be to the furthest right it can possibly be and vice versa if you drew your doll in the opposite direction. Place your animated doll on a layer above the layer where your sky is. Making sure you have your animated doll selected, click add effect and add the chroma key effect to it. Make sure you get rid of the choppy bits at the beginning where the GIF is putting itself together. Right click your GIF on the timeline to create a sub clip and extend the length of your GIF to match the length of your movie. Render and enjoy. <laughs> 